हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक होप यू आर डूइंग गुड लेट्स प्रोसीड विद द प्ले लिस्ट इन विच वी राइट द पाइथन प्रोग्राम फ्रॉम द प्रैक्टिकल लिस्ट इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू राइट द कोड टू डिस्प्ले द टर्म्स ऑफ द फिबोनाची सीरीज फिबोनाची वॉज एन इटालियन मैथमेटिशियन और राइट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू राइट द कोड टू जनरेट द टर्म्स ऑफ द सीरीज वी शुड नो वॉट इज फिबोनाची सीरीज In Fibonacci series the next term is the sum of its two previous terms look at the sum of the terms of the series this term got generated by adding the previous two terms means 0 plus 1 is 1 the next term 2 is the addition of the previous two terms in the same way 3 got calculated from the sum of the previous two terms the rest of the terms also got generated in the same way Now it's time to understand the logic. We will directly initialize the first two term. So let's take one variable term one and initialize zero to it. In the same way, we are going to take one more variable name term two and initialize one to it. We know how to generate the next term of the series by adding the previous two term. So we will add term one plus term two. It is nothing but zero plus one. So the next term will be one. same process we need to repeat but how many times for that we will take number of terms in a variable n we have initialized two terms already so the loop will execute n minus 2 now we want to repeat this process again and again for that what changes we need to do now think you need to generate the next term of the series for that next term what should be the previous two terms this should be term 1 and this should be term 2 then why are we waiting for that let's shift them term 2 will be term 1 and next will be term 2 these statements are nothing but initialization statement we will write term 2 which will be term 1 and the next will be term 2 in this way we got the updated term 1 and term 2 and to get the next term already we are adding them hope you understood this logic let's try to write the code now all right for that we have created one python file fibo.py the first step is to take the number of terms let's use input function to take the input enter number of terms we will assign term 1 and term 2 directly so term 1 will be 0 because we are starting the series with the 0 in the same line you can initialize term 2 also it is nothing but 1 in this way we already generated two terms then why should we wait we will print them term 1 comma term 2 we need to print them as a terms of the series for that we will use end parameter otherwise it will come in the next line now we need to do the arrangement to generate the next term and it's a repetitive task for that we will use for loop for i in range already we have generated two terms so this loop will execute n minus 2 times now to generate the next term we will add the previous two terms so term 1 plus term 2 it's time to print that generated term so let's print the next variable here also we will be using end parameter now we need to update the values of the term 1 and term 2 we already discuss how we are going to do term 1 will now store the value of term 2 and what about term 2 term 2 will store the value of the next variable i think we are done with the code let's try and execute whether we are getting the correct answer or not let's enter the number of terms as 5 look at the output we are getting 5 terms Let's execute it once again. This time I am going to enter the number of terms as 10. Wow, in this way we got all 10 terms of the Fibonacci series. Congratulations, we are done with the program. There are different ways to do this program. If you want to go ahead with it, you can. We discuss the simplest version of the code. 
so that was fibonacci series hope you understood the logic in case of any doubt let me know in the comments below in the next video we will write the code to calculate gcd as well as lcm of two integers so until next time stay curious stay healthy i will see you in the next video